Hi guys, welcome to Never Boring. Today I'm in my beautiful garden and it is in a beautiful spot. Uh, we have had this year a bumper crop of feijoas, beautiful. So later on I'll make some nice feijoa muffins and feijoa cake. But that's not what I'm, what I'm recording here. Uh, what you see there is basically just my crawl space because I actually haven't cut them back the way I should and so I'm paying the price of having to crawl underneath here. And ah, bloody hell, I'm 53 and I'm crawling on my tummy and, and picking fruit up when I've got two strong and healthy boys. And you think, mm, hang on. So thinking back when I was yeah, 17, 18, I would have been uh, oh, I would have been on the receiving end of quite some tirades of of frustration and anger from my parents if I had not put my weight but then again I also remember that I didn't pull my weight uh, when I was 17 and 18 and that's what I want to talk about you know the 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 serenity prayer comes in such a moment really into its own God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. For the last months I've been waiting, and I've set my expectations far too high as far as people around me were concerned. I thought, come on, if we all pull together as a team, as we work together, uh, no doubt we can achieve wonderful things. But what do, you, what do you do when that doesn't materialize? What do you do when, when you are basically just here and just constantly frustrated? I guess that's where you need to learn the difference between your reality and your wishes and your expectations. So something has to give at some stage and you need sometimes to remember that boys do what they want to do, men do what they have to do. And that's exactly what is sometimes necessary. So yes, you can wait for Father Christmas to arrive, but you're probably better off buying the presents yourself and making sure that Father Christmas actually is coming because otherwise you're going to be rather alone. So, yes, try leadership and you need to try to, in your life, find your moral compass and the compass where you want to go. Find out those things that are important to you and then take systematic and repeated action into that direction. Go out there. But don't wait for other people to support you. Don't wait for other people to be there for you just because you really want to or you really actually need them to. There comes a point when, when you have to say no. People are not there for you. But then what do you do? Go back to drinking? Nah, I don't think so. How about another addiction? Nah, I don't think so. Nah, life is too short, okay? A boy does what he wants to do. A man does what he has to do. And I think that is something that I certainly have forgotten. I certainly have fallen into the trap of waiting for Father Christmas. And sometimes you just can't do that. So it's time to to get down and dirty, literally. And in this case, weed the bloody garden whilst there is still a beautiful autumn. And make something out of this beautiful fruit, because otherwise it just rots on the, on the ground. And it will be nice. I will be very happy for having done some uh, push-ups here and, and feeling much better as a, as a man. And it is... Is a beautiful thing because I'm gonna have some yummy Fajoa muffins later. Yeah. So bottom line is go out there, find the direction that you need to move, 
into and then do that and don't wait for others if if things if plan a doesn't come together the way you wanted it move to plan b and if that doesn't work plan c and if that doesn't work plan d find what you need to do and then take massive and systematic action to become the new you the, the new you that deserves to have all the happiness okay look after yourself Dream on.